The Mount is just a very empowering environment, and I loved the idea of learning with other women. When I think about the Ma, I think about community. Everybody is basically family. We all support each other, we want each other to succeed. All my friends have become my family, and I feel like all the professors have influenced me to become a better person because I actually feel like they're part of my family. Whatever you need, they always accompany you and help you succeed. The Mount has changed my life because it has made me a stronger woman. It allowed me to find my own voice and express myself in artistic ways that I hadn't been able to do before. I can think more clearly, I can think more critically. My time here not only have I you know, learned so much material, but I've also learned so much about myself and the things that drive me, the things that I really I'm curious about. It taught me to always use my voice and be a leader among my peers and be a leader in the community and succeed not only here but also out there in the real world. You just can't help but feel empowered. They truly make you feel unstoppable. I'm more involved now, I'm more willing to speak up. It's changed just about every part of my life. It's changed me as a person, the way that I view the world, the way that I handle myself and my life. The Mount has given me so many opportunities to be so involved in student leadership, in academics. Throughout my four years, I've taken on so many wonderful leadership opportunities, and I feel like I would not have been able to get that anywhere else, and I'm so grateful for all of the lessons I've learned along the way. nervous but then excited and I don't know but I like it I've met so many new people my advisor is Katrina she's really nice and really helpful she's giving us a lot of advice on like what not to do and like what we should do our first year so it's important that we stay together as a group because this is gonna be our little bonding group you know make friends love each other all that good stuff my favorite part of today is like the icebreakers so far they're really creative and fun and it's Fun to interact with the other students that I'm going to be sharing the next four years with. We know that you will do great things in your life. You will have a fabulous four years here and will graduate to a life of making a positive difference for yourself, your family, your community, and for this world. Welcome and good journey, Athenian. There are many people that I'd like to thank. I really would like to thank Professor Santos, Professor Benvenisti, Dr. Hart Haldeman, Professor Grajeda, hola, como esta? Dr. Buchos, Dr. Chan. I would like to thank Professor Alvarez. He really helped me through a lot of issues I was going through this year. I'd love to thank God, my parents, my two amazing brothers and my amazing boyfriend, my sorority sisters, and um, my dog as well. Le quería dar gracias a mis papás por siempre estar ahí conmigo y ayudarme todo el camino. I would like to thank the LRC and the Student Success Center. They have been with me here since day one of my journey here at the Mount when I was like a terrified little freshman. I would like to thank my parents, my family, my friends. My friends, because they put up with me when I'm stressed. My mom and my family for the unconditional love and support. I would like to thank my grandpa. My boyfriend, Daniel, for always being there for me. My family, my mom and my dad, just because they've sacrificed so much to get me to this point. Gracias, mamá y papá por siempre estar ahí por mí, por enseñarme la importancia de la educación y de la humildad y los quiero mucho. I want to thank my family and my parents who sacrificed so much. My mother for being uh, there for me. My mom, my dad. My brother. God, first and foremost. My husband for all the papers he read, 
all the times he sat up and went, no, you really can do this. And uh, my sister for knowing all the right words to say when I doubt myself. I would like to thank my parents. They have been very supportive of me. My professors, my mentors, everyone along the way. My family in general for always being there. My professors, especially the sociology department. I would also like to thank the Geronimo family for being there for me, opening up their doors, giving me a second home. My student government advisor, Christine Hernandez. She's the best. My brother and sister, Dr. Romero Melendrez. And the last person I would like to thank is my boyfriend for staying up with me all those endless sleepless nights. I would definitely like to thank God for the experience here. My grandfather, who's my number one supporter. The educators I've had throughout my lifetime. My father for the economical support. My boyfriend who makes me so happy even when I'm struggling in school. Anyone who has ever donated or helped me financially stay at the Mount and complete college. My close group of friends, TFAB, uh, they know who they are. Everyone, everyone in, in the university deserves my thank you. <laughs>
want to welcome you all here to our annual Women's Leadership Conference this morning. We believe it is both our duty and our privilege to provide opportunities like this to come together to learn, to get inspired, and to take action. This conference brings together our students and our staff members and faculty along with the community and every year it's grown. One of the best things about it is bringing together women around this notion of empowering each other. Today is such an inspiring day for me because I love to see conferences that are supporting and inspiring women to not only follow their dreams but to come together and support one another. It really does affect your perspective and to be surrounded by positive, inspiring, questioning, curious women. We are a village. We are of one mind and we may look different physically but we want to make a difference in the world. We want our life to matter. We want to contribute to other people's lives. So you've all been talking today about power and leadership. You have a power you don't realize. You have the power to make yourself happy. You have the power to recognize the opportunities that are in front of you. I learned a lot of different information. I learned how to network positively. I learned how to be grateful for anything and everything that's done in my life. We had a great, great day. It was filled with inspiring women. We bring out a perspective that not everyone will see, so I think that needs to be heard. When women are able to achieve and succeed, everybody wins. So I would really salute the companies and workplaces that are finding ways to help people understand that we're really all in this together. I'd like to thank my parents first and foremost, mom, dad, muchas gracias, les doy, les doy gracias a Dios por su apoyo, por su ánimo, por siempre estar conmigo, um, por cuidar a mi hija, muchas gracias por todo lo que hacen por mí, por todos sus sacrificios. I'd like to thank my family, of course, my sisters. My family, of course, especially my family. My tía Mari. My dad's always been there for me. My mom's always there. I want to thank Dr. Boutros. God, my parents, my mom and dad. Also my grandmother, she's always, you know, she's always looked out for me and she's wanted nothing but the best. Quiero dar las gracias a mi familia, a mis padres, a mis abuelos, a mis primas. I'm your hermano. I would like to thank my mother and father because they have supported me throughout this journey. I want to thank my little girl Isabella because she has been the person that probably has encouraged me the most even though she doesn't know it. I definitely want to thank my parents. The friends that I've met here at Mount St. Mary's. All my family and friends who have supported me throughout my four years here. My boyfriend who's been here for me and he stayed up with me. He didn't let me give up. My parents, obviously, because without them I wouldn't have I wouldn't be here. And also my girlfriend, who has always been there for me when I need her the most. I quisiera darle gracias a mis padres por todo el apoyo que me han brindado con no tan solo con la escuela, pero todo lo demás que he ocupado eh, siempre han estado ahí por, por mí. Muchas gracias, los amo. I would like to thank my parents and my family, as well as my friends that I've met here at the Mount. All my friends here at the Mount. Professor Ensley, Dr. Hart, Dr. Haldeman. My mother and father and grandpa who are here today. And I think most importantly, my son, because anytime I wanted to give up, I just thought of him and I kept going. I want to thank my husband, Charlie. Thank you for always, always being there, always being supportive. My pastors as well, and the church for just their spiritual guidance. All the faculties that encourage me with in the courses. Jamie Wood, Dr. Golan, Dr. Farah Mullings. To my brothers, to my sister. Thank you because all of you guys have been my village that have helped me along the way. Lay bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in the winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland
I'd like to thank my parents, first and foremost, for being there for me, for my sister and for my brothers, for my whole family that have just supported me from the first day that I started here. They're my rock and I love them so much. I would like to thank my parents for giving me all the support. All of my family, my aunts, my uncles, my boyfriend, my teachers, my parents, my husband, because he's been my best friend, he's been my best help. And also anybody that has helped me financially to graduate from the Mount. Yo quiero agradecerles a mis padres por darme la oportunidad de venir a una universidad privada y por siempre estar en, a mi lado en las buenas y las malas. There are a lot of professors who I'd like to thank. Dr. Haggard for always being a shoulder to lean on. Marcy Higareda, Professor Bunce, Dr. Haggard, Professor Fritchie, Dr. Buenaventura, Lisa Villa, Valeria Riso. Professor John who helped uh, destroy, absolutely destroy my fear of math. I would love to thank my parents, my grandparents, my siblings, my friends, my grandfather, who's my dad pretty much, my uncle, um, Jose and my tia Meli for supporting me. And God, of course, for always being there. I want to thank my boyfriend, Carlos, for supporting me along the way. He's definitely been my backbone. Also, my mentors for always being there for me. My friends, Rosie and Claudia, for always having my back since day one in 2012, because it's been a long journey. And all my nursing friends who have gone with me every step of the way. Professor Santos for really allowing me to think critically and not ever giving us the answers. My family, because they have been enormously helpful with babysitting. And then lastly, um, Dean Lacey Smith for even allowing me to continue forward. I went to the Mount Wellness Fair and I climbed the rock wall. That's really cool because it's something that I wouldn't normally be able to do. I love the Mount Wellness launch. To me, wellness is being active. Wellness is all about balancing mind, body, and soul, and the Mount helps me do that. I've been playing soccer all my life. I was extremely excited to find out that Mount actually had a club soccer program. It's just another way to make friends and stay active and create bonds that not only are you going to have on the field, but also off the field. I play volleyball here at the Mount. The main reason why I began playing was because I wasn't super active in high school. When I came to the Mount and I figured out that they had club teams, I was very eager to join, to get active once again. I play basketball at Mount St. Mary's because I love the game. I'm able to relieve a lot of stress by playing basketball. I love doing doing yoga, I sit at a desk all day and my muscles get really cramped, especially when I'm doing homework really late at night. Being able to de-stress and stretch my muscles out, that really, really helps. Taking care of your body, it helps your mind, it helps the blood flow, it helps your endorphins, and just being happier in general is going to help you do better in school. I'm looking forward to more opportunities to stay active at the Mount. There's a lot of people that I would like to thank. I'd like to thank my parents for always supporting my decisions. My family, my siblings, my grandparents, um, as they have truly um, really been there every step of the way for me. Professor Ensley and um, my advisor, Hegreta. My friends, Ariel, Zach, and Steve. My mom, my dad, my brother, and just everyone has been so supportive. My mom and my dad, um, gracias por todo lo que me han dado. Um, sin ustedes no hubiera podido hacer nada. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me through all of this. My family because they really pushed me to succeed and do my best. I would like to thank God first and foremost. I have to start with mom and dad. My professors. All my family and friends. My parents, my brothers, um, Nick, Zach, David, my sisters Vanessa and Andy. I'd also like to thank my family and my friends. My best friends. Uh, Desiree since day one, 2012. You know, she's always been there for me. Mr. and Mrs. Manriquez, they have given me a place to stay while I go to college. Big special thanks to my girlfriend. 
because she's always been there to like the thick and thin. I want to thank my family, of course, for always being there. My parents for their support. Uh, my brother Sean, he's absolutely amazing. My parents for helping me and allowing me to come to such an amazing school. I would definitely like to thank my parents. They've held my hand through all of this. Mom, I love you so much. You are absolutely amazing for everything you've done for me. Dad, the same with you. I mean, you guys have been my support system. You guys seen me struggle. I'd like to thank my grandparents, uh, my godparents as well, all my aunts and uncles who have been around this whole entire five year ride with me. My friends, um, they all been really helpful. Dr. Boutros, Dr. Roberts, for helping me through this whole entire academic process. Dr. Sabouche for always keeping me inspired to learn more. I definitely do want to thank both my grandmas. My Professor Higadera, she's been with me since freshman year till now. Professor Rigoni and Professor Alanati. My parents, my siblings, my uncle for putting up with me for the past four years. The nursing faculty and also my nursing friends, specifically the Doheny crew. <laughs>
mount has really changed my life because it has really helped me blossom as an individual. I have gained more leadership skills. I've definitely expanded and grown so much since my freshman year that I'm a completely different person now. I have become a more confident person, a more goal-oriented person. I think the mount has really helped me find my voice. Before, I was always apologetic for my opinions and for my outspokenness and my loudness, and now I think I'm more appreciative of it and embracing it. The mount has definitely helped me see what I'm capable of. It's transformed me to such a more confident and independent and unstoppable woman. The Mount has taught me so much about myself and encouraged me to step outside my comfort zone and really embrace every challenge that comes my way. The Mount has taught me to uh, look within myself and find the strengths that I have. The Mount has given me so many wonderful opportunities to find myself, such as through leadership positions or volunteer work, and I feel like I found myself in who I want to be in the future. I started college when I was 18, and I feel like I was such a baby starting college. I didn't know much about it. And now I'm 21, I feel like I'm an adult. I feel like I'm ready for what's out there. I want to like spread my wings and literally just go out and impact other people's lives. I feel like I just came to orientation like last week and to finally you know, be able to walk that stage was definitely like so surprising. I'm just really proud of myself that I was able to do it. I definitely feel unstoppable. I feel like after graduating from the Mount, I've experienced so many different things that I honestly feel like I can do absolutely anything.